Then the big moment arrives. The fans begin rolling into Roosevelt Raceway early for the classic. And by post time, thousands are on hand. There is real drama as the field is introduced. Number one is Porterhouse of the United States, driven by the veteran Earl Avery. Next is France's majestic Nicias Grandchamps, driven by Jean Goujon. Argentina's Thomas Atkins, delayed by riots in South America, was withdrawn, so next in line was the American champion Sumac Ladd with driver Stanley Dancer. Number five, Ty Soak of Canada, Keith Waples, the driver. Six is Mon Poulot of Belgium, Michael Martin's up. Then, Italy's new star, with Walter Baroncini in the sulky. Eidelstetter of Germany carries number eight, and driver Hans Froming, one of Europe's most successful. The field is completed by Ordeal of New Zealand, driven by her owner and trainer, Bill Bradley. An ovation for South America's mystery horse, Thomas Atkins, who was lost for nearly a week, but overcame rebellion and intrigue to make the 10,000-mile journey from Buenos Aires, only to arrive too late to race after his odyssey. Starter Steve Phillips gets the field in line, and here is the fruit of the labor of years, the realization of the dream that began with Greyhound. Track announcer Jack O'Hara gives the call. On the inside porterhouse, as Sumac Ladd ranges up on the outside. Sumac Ladd takes the lead. BCS Grandjean goes into his second position. Porterhouse along the inside is third. Ordeal is fourth. On the outside, Montpulo is fifth. Come past the stands and Sumac Ladd is in front. Nicias Grandchamp on the outside. On the inside, Porterhouse now getting second. Nicias Grandchamp alongside is third. Ordeal is fourth. Montpulo on the outside, fifth. Ty Silk is sixth. New Star is seventh. And Eidelstetter is eighth. Into the turn and it's Sumac Ladd in front. Nicias Grandchamp on the outside in second position. On the inside, Porterhouse third. Ordeal along the inside for Montpelo is fifth. The inside tie silk is sixth. That's New Star on the outside, seventh. Idlestetter is eighth. The quarter time was thirty and one fifth. Midway of the back stretch, and it's Zumac Ladd leading by three parts of a thing. Nicias Grandchamp is second. Porterhouse is third. Ordeal is fourth. Months of planning, years of training, but in just minutes of action, these great trotters that have traveled thousands of miles will cover another mile and a quarter that will mark one of them as the reigning international champion. There is no room for error in gait or judgment. The international crown and the $50,000 purse are at stake. The half mile time, 102 and two fifths. Past the stands and it's uh, Sumac Ladd in front as Ordeal rushes up on the outside getting second. Nicias Grandchamp is third. Porterhouse is fourth. Ty Silk is fifth. And that's Idlestead of sixth. And then comes uh, a new star, seventh, and Mount Pulo is eighth. Three quarter time, 134 flat. Straighten out on the back stretch, and it's Sumac Ladd leading by a length and a half. That's uh, Ty Silk rushing up on the outside, getting second. Ordeal along the inside is third. Porterhouse is fourth. Nicias Grandchamp drops back to fifth. On the outside, Idlestead is sixth. The new star is seventh. Mount Pulo eighth. The mile time, 204 and three-fifths. Right on the turn, Sumac Ladd on the inside, and Ty Silk right alongside, heading in for the lead. Porterhouse moves up a closer third. Ordeal is fourth. Into the stretch, Sumac Ladd along the inside, Ty Silk on the outside, Porterhouse is third. Idle set of fourth, and Ordeal is fifth. On the inside, Sumac Ladd and Ty Silk on the outside. Head and head, nose to nose, right down on the wire. Look at it, Ty Silk, the winner of the great international. Sumac Ladd, second, failing to defend his crowd. Then comes uh, Porterhouse, third. After that, it was Idle set of fourth. On the outside, New Star. Ty Silk of Canada, the winner in this international.